Hey everyone, it's your friendly graduate assistant. We've figured out already with this data set the standard error of the mean based off this information. Now let's say that someone wants to ask us the probability that our scores will be less than 98.8 on this particular test. So if we set this up mathematically, x is less than 98.8. If we draw it out on the normal curve, mean of 100, this problem is asking us 98.8, it's asking us for this area right here. So when we do our equation, if you remember setting up the z-score, we have 98.8 minus 100 over our standard error of the mean, which is 0.6. And that is going to give us negative 1.2 over 0.6, which gives us negative 2. If you look up the z-score for z of negative 2, back of your book, you are given a number of 0 0.0183. Now if you remember in the last example I said that z-scores give you a number to the left. And if you see corresponding with this question, we're trying to find out the area to the left. So this z-score is accurate. We can say, uh, if we move this over, that 1.0183 0.83 percent of our students taking this test or percent of our, percentage of our students are going to score less than 98.8 percent.